Hey you, what's up? It's Claudia. Thank you so much for joining me. This is my fourth vlog. Happy February to everybody. If you stuck with me, you're probably wondering what's the topic? The topic this month is going to be fast February. Remember that February is only 28 days and January was 31. So you've got less time to do just month, you know, the same amount of, of activity and progress or go above and beyond that, right? You choose. So it being the first, it's a great time to kind of reevaluate where you've been going with your 2016 plans, right? And so lifestyle, whole life theme. One, lifestyle quiz. When are you feeling hungry? When are you feeling full? What are you eating that's making you full? When are you tired? When are you most tired? Did Were you active this month, right? How often are you injured, right? Maybe you started really hard on January, in January, and then you kind of slowly fell off that bandwagon, right? Um, where are you at? And where would you like to be, okay? So those are the kind of questions you wanna to start to kind of think about. For me, it's, I've been active and I've slowly gone up, right, in my, and gone a little down and gone up, right? But I've never really necessarily stopped. So that's important, right? Um, have I seen major results? I have never felt this energetic. Really, no, jo no joke. Like. The fact that I stayed out to, in my classroom until 5.30 today and completely updated my grade book, I'm like, what? Like, just a year ago, I was literally falling asleep on my computer. There was no way in this world I was going to ever be caught up. That's That was my mentality. And now it's like, no, I gotta share my story because it's, I, it, it is pretty incredible that little changes to my nutritional plan on my on the go lifestyle has have had this much good news good news so that's exciting um the se second thing i want to talk about is investment so you know i personally pay a lot of money for health insurance as i'm sure everybody else does um i do i am a member of the of the ymca um and that's about it. I kind of go out and do my own exercise or exercise at home. Um, I love the jacuzzi, you know, and so it's great. And on rainy days, it's great to have a treadmill option, right? But on a regular basis, I just try to stay active and healthy. Um, nevertheless, there's always that time where you just have to go and go out to eat, right? And so on Sunday night, we were celebrating, Brady and I, and we went out to eat and, you know, kind of like, just were like, wow, we are eating out, out. So to me, if I take that that quiz, I'm still like excited about going out. Okay, so that's exciting. Um, we're cooking at home more than ever, right? And we're also getting two deliveries from um, Farm Fresh to you uh, in the city, and that's pretty awesome. That's like a serious statement, right? We are supporting our farmers and we're getting deliveries. Okay. <laughs> that's insane. So that's good, right? Um, now other investments. So it was July, 2015 that I decided to invest in my nutritional plan. I tried other proteins and at that point I wasn't necessarily completely convinced about Herbalife, but I tried it anyway. Did the three day trial, uh, lost three or four pounds, I want to say. But what I was looking for, I wasn't necessarily like, oh, I want the protein. I was more or less like, I'm so freaking exhausted. I need something to help me keep up, right? Because I was still exercising, I was still super active, I was still kind of trying to just stay healthy. But I was really having some serious holes and dips and like complete standstill progress um, until Herbalife found me. And now I'm Herbalife and I want to share it with you guys because 
I was you. I was looking for that something. And you can't get Herbal Herbalife just anywhere. And I wouldn't recommend getting it on Amazon. Um, especially because then you're just doing what everybody else does that's getting their products from Whole Foods, right? You're still paying top dollar and you're not getting the coach. Um, then, so, out to dinner, somebody asks for the bill and I'm overhearing that's $100. So, two people at a table spending $100 is insane. That's insane, right, for one meal in my eyes. That's a $3,000 budget a month on going out to eat. Now... If you have that kind of money to spend and you're eating, you know, healthy food out every night, good on you. I'm like a local teacher, okay? So that's exciting because that means that I'm prioritizing my health for 30 days. And I'm getting two shakes, my tabs, and my tea. And I get my breakfast and my lunch covered for a month. Say what? That's insane. Not even like... A fast food restaurant does that. It's awesome. And then this stuff is like just really good for you. So win, win, and win because I'm being financially conscious. Um, protein. So when I started coaching and heck, when I was just learning about nutrition and, and how to be better healthy for me, protein. Protein was where it's at. And so I tried protein before, but I'd never necessarily decided to really dive into protein until Caroline came and said, here, try this cookies and cream. Then she said, try the pineapple. Then she said, try the Dutch chocolate. Then she said, try the pumpkin spice. Then she said, try the caramel, uh, banana caramel. I'm like, does this like ever stop? These flavors are awesome, one of a kind, only owned by Herbalife. And if you were like me, trying nasty crap, okay, I've juiced, I've raw diet, no carbs. Ever since high school, like, stopped playing soccer, I pretty much just kept growing out. There was just not enough exercise and not enough money in my pocket to, or not, and not enough money in my day to eat the pound of chicken the pound of nuts, the pound of celery, the pound of kale, the pound of everything that you need in order to get consistent nutrition so that your cells, like my face, my skin, right? My heart, my mind, my brain, my eyes, right? My, my, my everything gets the nutrition it needs. And so when I realized that, when I was like, okay, I get it now. Bam. Drop down 22 pounds and feel energetic. And that's all I ever want, you know? And that's what's awesome. Um, but speaking of protein, you know, when people say, oh, well, you know, you're on a plan, like you must have, like, count calories or something. No. We're talking about a whole nutritional program where the point of this is, is to feel good, feel energy, and not feel hungry. And that's, that was like a relief to me when I heard that, you know, because I think we are all told that you, you know, come January, you gotta like exercise and you gotta not eat and you gotta do this and you gotta go to the gym and you gotta do CrossFit and you gotta, you know, you gotta, and it's like, nope. What we've been taught about nutrition and healthy practices is not just an overnight thing and it's definitely not just a seasonal thing I want to be healthy for all the seasons to come and so with that I kind of want to just invite you to continue doing what you're doing if you're looking for a coach definitely contact me my name is Classy Coco I'm on YouTube and I super am excited to help you out um, so looking forward to it and keep those few things in mind when you're thinking fast February. Until next time. Bye guys.